So, well, I know that they used to play G5, I think, here. I'm not completely sure, but it's uh, very bad. I I don't remember what, but uh, why, but I remember that maybe Bishop D2, and it was... Uh, but honestly, I don't remember, but it just... Uh, normally, it should be bad for black. So, take, Bishop takes, Knight F6, and here... Yeah, I remember one game where white played Bishop C2, and... It looks like yeah, it's oh, yeah. basically the same as the game, but uh, I'm I'm not sure that you should keep bishops uh, of a light squared bishop in this position because uh, simply it makes black stack skip even easier. I thought I mean um, probably it was b6 and bishop b7. At some point you get the pawn back. Well, it's still like this more present for white, but honestly I thought that what I played is. This Mm, a bit more tricky to play with black. I mean, f for instance, knight takes d5, of course you want to take on d5. Um, but then there's the trick rook d1, knight e3, rook d6, then probably knight c4, uh, also knight c2 is possible, but, uh, or knight uh -huh. f5, but let's say knight c4, but then rook d7, and the, all the pawns are under attack, and uh, can easily be better for white, simply. Yeah. Uh, there's also rook c2, but this was just um, a, a really dangerous, I thought, after this. And then bishop f6, I mean, I, I don't know, yeah. then knight d4, knight f5, it's already probably better. So rook d8 is a good move, and okay, bishop e7, yes, and here, I think I had, uh, I, I had looked at this position after rook e1, uh, I just didn't remember all details, but I knew that you should always be a bit careful here and so yeah probably rook d7 here I mean the problem with rook e6 is knight d4 rook well let's say e4 for the moment f3 so rook e3 take I mean just like this and the problem is that the knight is too yeah. long <laughs> to challenge this, this knight uh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> and so you play rook e5. And, but then bishop h6. Take, take. And the bishop is under attack, so bishop c5. Ah, no, but no, there's bishop b4, sorry. So... So then what? I don't know. Okay, you can still play uh, in this fashion, yeah, just because, uh, but probably it's a draw. Huh? So, uh, I don't know, probably rook e6 was simpler. Also rook d7, because the, tr the trick is knight t5, rook d5, and if knight f7, king g8, the knight is trapped, so. Probably this was the uh, easiest to equalize, I mean, I can still play some rook c1, you know, but then bishop b4 already should be a draw. But after bishop f8 already, things are not so easy. I mean, rook c1, knight d5, well, here I was considering this a little trick, because uh, this would be quite bad, I think. I mean, king g8, rook e8. But, I mean, unless I'm missing something, but the problem is that, well, first of all, after b6, it's not clear, but maybe after knight d4, you know, then the knight comes to b5, maybe I'm still better. I, I wasn't sure, but this was really a problem, probably. Because now you threaten to take, the knight is ready to cover on e6. And you threaten as well, knight d3 as well. And if bishop c5, no rook c6, bishop f8, and well, I don't know, like this. Yeah, simply. And just, uh -huh. you just remain the next change up. So, so, so a lot of the x6 actually in this position. So I played bishop c5, and well, here again, things are not so easy. For instance, you can play rook d7, then um, my idea was knight e5, probably rook c7, uh, bishop f8, then rook f8 as the only move, and here I didn't know, uh, I wasn't sure it's so much better for me, but yeah, it's... Still a little bit more yeah. pleasant. Okay, the thing is probably here you can hold, but it's never so easy. I don't know. Uh, 
I suppose. Right? Yeah, I suppose you can even just take and take, and it's not yet a draw. I mean, yeah. it's, it's still close, but it's not a draw. So, but after OK six, I mean, uh, I was happy here with this idea I found because. Well, I can play rook d1 first, but not like the 4 and uh, I cannot do uh, move this rook, so this was not so good. And a3, I, I was going to play this and I noticed something unpleasant. You play k simply king g8 and now as soon as you take, the king takes and probably now with the king on f8 it's not as dangerous as it used to be because rook d1 you can even play rook d6 now. And it's complete no. So bishop f8 is important. No, okay, again, a3 is too too slow, so rook d1. Knight f4. Well, I, I could play rook c4 here just to keep two points on the coin side, but mm, I think even rook b6, rook d2, and I don't know, even king h7 and rook d8 next. So, mm -hmm. so no, ag again, I thought g3 also is important move because if rook b7 immediately knight d3 is a mm -hmm. little trick. There are a lot of tricks actually in this position. It's not because you exchange oh, a lot of pieces yeah, that uh, yeah. that there's no tactic. There's yeah. a lot of slight yeah. tactics like this because of uh, mm -hmm. and. Okay, so now I, I have a problem with this pawn on b2 also, I will have a problem with this pawn on f2 as soon as black takes, so it's probably a draw, but g3 is important, you know, obviously knight t2 is, looks very dangerous, and uh, it is. Actually, here you can play like this, knight d4, and probably you're better, but, mm -hmm. but I would have played something uh, more powerful because the knight is actually completely trapped mm -hmm. and you threaten this pawn on f7 if king g8 rook d7 knight is still trapped no square for frame so here things look quite grim i mean i just a mating attack actually uh, with this two rooks and seven shanks so knight e6 uh, yeah of course this was m maybe m no actually it was not better it was uh, it's it's like the game but Actually, this pawn on g5 is yeah. quite weak, so it's not easy at all to make a yeah, draw it's here. Lost, right? I don't know. Probably no. it's a draw, but yeah. you have to work uh, really a lot. No, here there was, I think, an immediate draw with knight c5. This was mm. uh, probably mm. like mm, the best option, and it would have made the game, you know, very clear cut from both sides. We would have played qu quite a go quite good. So um, rook b5 and now knight a4. It looks quite scary because now you you get the second piece completely out of play and you know it yeah. looks just like it's going to be s s some attack with both rooks and the knight. But uh, concretely, you threaten rook takes b2, so probably rook d2 has to be played and no knight b6. And now the, the point is the rook and b5 cannot get to b7 anymore. Maybe still rook c5, and you know, I, I can play for a couple of moves, but honestly, this is extremely close to a draw, probably. Well, actually, now that I look at it, maybe it's not so easy yet, because no knight a4, of course, I would play uh, maybe rook a5, no, knight a4, so. So may maybe not yet that easy, but still, probably it was. Uh, maybe here, actually. Yes, maybe here then. Because here it was still possible, knight a4. And now if rook d2, knight b6, yes, yes, like this, it, mm. should, it should work. And if knight c4, well, a lot of options, maybe still knight, no, yes, maybe still knight, no, no, knight b6 is, well, it's still, oh, yeah, it's oh, still, please. it's still close to a draw, probably, like, ah, no, rook b8, sorry. Uh, so, I don't remember. Probably just rook c8 and, and you, you're probably in time to make a draw. So, but rook a8 uh, surprised me very much. I mean, here it already looks like it's very close. Of course, I cannot take on f7 because of knight c5 and, uh, you know, there's some perpetual check. And if I uh, play knight d6, take, take. Well, I don't know, maybe king f8, but uh, I also yeah, thought you're yeah. completely un in time to to get the counterplay, and no, probably I'm forced uh -huh. to, to repeat moves like this. Yeah. 
Knight H7 and just make a draw. But Rook D5 is I mean, probably the best move. And no, I, I don't know what you can do with Black. So F6 probably has to be played. And, and I mean, she probably um, Vichy took into account the danger of the position and you know thought more accurately about how to to defend because otherwise it looks quite scary already. But the position was still drawn. Mm, I, I mean, I'm clearly better, but I couldn't find a win. I mean, of course, then I blundered and moved 39, mm -hmm. but okay, we'll get to that. But it probably was a draw anyway. So, King G2, yes, here I noticed this trick with Knight D4. Because, of course, uh, you want to play Rook D6, but here this is uh, again one little trick and it's immediate draw. Mm, so, Knight D4 is good. Take, take. No, you have to play f5. Okay, rook d7, rook g8, rook d6, king g6. Uh, yes, actually, here I thought maybe this also was enough for a draw. I mean, just to avoid rook a6. Oh. And if I take on f6, I mean, I can maybe play h4, but then h5, so it's not clear it's bring me s so much. So take, take. take. I wasn't sure about this endgame, but. Probably it's a draw. Mm -hmm. I mean, if I push my pawn one square too far, like f4, then g5, this will be a clear draw because even when I get my king to b3, mm -hmm. black king gets to h3, and uh, you're not going to do yeah. anything at all. <laughs> no. So, but actually, here I was going to play f3 yeah? and then bring my king to c3. And the point is, if black plays g5, g4, then I play f4. Mm -hmm. And it's not the same story. And my pawn on h2 is covered. And as soon as black plays rook f8, then rook a3. And the pawn on f3 is covered. So I wasn't sure. I mean, I thought it could go like this. And not g5. <coughs> and probably you're in time to make a draw as well. Because now, I don't know, you can play, for instance, rook f8, rook f2, king d4. I thought it should be a draw as well, after rook a8. But dangerous, yeah. Yeah, a bit dangerous, but in the game also it's a bit dangerous. I mean, yeah. here, because here you cannot do this trick immediately, mm -hmm. I think. I mean, uh, of course I blundered it, but uh, then when I noticed I blundered it, I still calculated this position, mm -hmm. and here just g4, probably. And if king g5, that's king g3, yeah. and some problems. And if, um, uh, well, I think that's basically... Quite, quite bad, yeah, because here you just take and rook f7. So you cannot do it immediately, but after h5, no, after h4, of course, you mm -hmm. can do it. And otherwise, I should have played rook a7. Mm, here, Vichy offered king f5, probably, just active defense. No, the point is, this is an easy draw because the king is still on g2. If the king can come to e4, it's probably still a draw, but you have to work. I mean, mm -hmm. it's like it's played by one tempi. Here it's very easy because as soon as I bring my king to c1 and rook, uh, I, I don't know, because yeah. king has a, a lot of time. So yeah. here it's a very easy draw. Uh, but, uh, but I don't know, maybe I can do some waiting move here. But the problem is, of course, g5 is next. So rook b5, king g6. Yes, yeah, then I have to find something else. Maybe I should play something like King F3. And if Rook C8, no, maybe there's some way to make it work. I don't know for why it's... Mm, probably it's still a draw. But at least, you know, uh, you're asking a bit more question because uh, it's, it's very close to a mate. You know, you have H3, then G4 checks, and some checks. But n no, probably it's a draw, uh, unless I'm missing something, uh, I don't know. But of course I should have played this, I mean, make the time control and then uh, understand, you know, uh, what's going on. Mm -hmm. But I just blundered rook c8, I thought, you know, you had to wait with king h6, king g6, then I wanted to come with my king on f3 and take the pawn on a5, and then after rook b8, rook a2, rook b3, then king e4. Mm -hmm. Well, probably you're still in time to make a draw with g5. Then I mean, let's 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 play it. I mean, king g6, rook b5, rook c8. Let's say like this: rook b8, rook 
to so I don't know King F5 yes you should be in time yeah. as well to make a draw but here it's already mm, quite quite playable, close yeah. yeah but of course it should be a draw uh, as well yeah. but after rook c8 of course it's very clear cut draw I mean just and here well uh, I mean I would have played on but then I I mean Vichy offered me a draw and I just realized you know yeah, but uh, but with this yeah yeah in Olympia <laughs> if uh, we're done one point or something yes maybe yes, I play it mean, but <laughs> you know with this uh, with this point structure uh, pawn on f6 yeah. pawn on h5 I mean the only plan would be to bring the rook to yeah, f4 yeah. let's say I mean, the only plan that I thought of, I mean... Yeah, but uh, that was completely the same position in this match. In this match game, uh, USA-China, China-USA, then you should play it by black and... Ah, uh, yeah, with <laughs> F3-G4, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah so... Okay, it's a joke, of course, I understand. Yeah, it was uh, Ding Lian, yeah, I think. Yes, yes, yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay, I mean, y you can play it on, of course, with uh, F3-G4, yeah. probably the only way, but, I mean, honestly, it's... Yeah. It's complete draw. I mean, I remember that Black had to make maybe f sure. two or three mistakes. I mean, of to course. to make the position from uh, I I call it dead draw uh, to to lost. Yes. Yeah, so. Okay. Thank you very much, Maxim. If somebody has a question, please ask again, Marcia. Uh, well, I, I didn't look carefully enough. I mean, I just looked at a few lines, but uh, this endgame would require, I think, quite a lot of time to to be checked. And well, I mean, I'm here to play a tournament, not to analyze <laughs> my past games. So, of course, if it was a matter of 20 minutes, but I think it's more a matter of two hours to be sure that it's a draw or a win for white. So. So I don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Sorry, just one question. Uh, such a difficult tournament, such an incredible field today. Are you surprised at all to be one of the leaders after four rounds? Are you excited? Well, I mean, first of all, it's a bit, you know, it's not normal. But I mean, I, I had three wides still after four rounds, so it's quite a big advantage, I mean, to begin with. Um, then... Well, I mean, I, I prepared very carefully for the tournament. I mean, made sure to be in, in good physical shape. So, also I had, you know, the luck of managing one very good preparation that I converted to a win. So, I mean, I'm I'm happy with my performance so far and with my games. But uh, there's still five rounds to go. So, you know, being the leader with plus one after four rounds doesn't mean so much for the moment. I mean, uh, I, uh, anywhere, uh, if I want, you know, uh, to have a really top three result, I think I will need at least plus two. So, you know, to win one more game, now I have w one more black. And so uh, I would need to win one more game and lose none, or to win two more and lose one, because, okay, I mean, in such a tournament, you can expect to lose one game. I mean, I, I don't want to, but it's uh, among the... the the, the possibilities. Uh, uh, do you feel it's been helpful to play uh, in your home country so far? Will it be a little bit harder in Russia? I don't know. I mean, I mean of course, I'm very used to to Paris. So, of course, you know, you, you get comfortable feelings. But still, I mean, generally, you know, anyway, when you play a tournament, you stay in your hotel room most of the time. So, and OK, the hotel room in Paris or in St. Petersburg is most probably um, quite similar, I mean, apart from a few changes, but so um, uh, then of course there's, you know, the support of the people that, you know, congratulate you, ask you for s some autographs and so on, but uh, I mean, overall it's not, uh, probably not so different to play at home or in other country, I mean, I still I still do my job the same way. You know. <laughs> thank you very much, Maxim. Okay, thank Thanks you. Thanks a lot.